What's up guys, Takedown here with another hockey card video for you guys. Of course, um, since I know now I'm not going to get any more Tim Hortons cards for the year, I figured why not make a video showing the best of what I got this year. My favorite cards, the top cards that I have got. Um, recently I've gotten a few from uh, Collector Buddy, I didn't expect any from it, but I did get a few um, in there to add a little bit more to my collection. But I'm basically going to share the top cards, my favorite cards, a few base cards. The rest are going to be the um, inserts that I found. But let's just get right into this video. Starting with the base cards, my top base cards for the year. I have Shea Weber. Oliver Ekman Larson. Taylor Hall, who I'm a huge fan of especially when he was in Edmonton. Uh, Jamie Benn. Dallas. Matt Murray. If I had a list of uh, top goalies, my favorite goalies, he would be on that list, uh, which I might do in the future. I might make, as I'm making more top 10 videos now, I might make top 10 videos um, for goalies and stuff hockey related also. I have Mitch Marner. Mitchell Marner. Braden Holtby, Tyler Sagan, I know I'm probably butchering that name, Phil Kessel, who I think he's great, I love his attitude, even though a lot of people think he's an ass, I think it's great um, what he does. Now I know I don't have those in these, in these sleeves, but that's because I mostly uh, ran out of the sleeves right now. I have P.K. Subain, who I'm a huge fan of. Um, I like that he wore Jaeger's jersey in the, the 2016 um, comp skill competition. And I have Sidney Crosby's base card, so that's probably my top base card that I have. Uh, it would have been nice to get a Connor McDavid's. But, um, I don't know which one to start with next, but I only have two Platinum Profiles this year. This is the 2017-2018 Tim Hortons card, by the way, of course, if, if you guys weren't aware of that. Um, but I have Alec, Alex Ovechkin, and I have Brad Marchand, Platinum Profiles. So that's the only two Platinum Profiles I managed to pull this year. Also, my location sold out pretty quick, and I wasn't buying them rapidly. Hopefully next year when Tim Hortons cards come around, hopefully I get a few more packs and I bet be able to do a few more openings um, with them for you guys. So let's get into the game day action card. I will save the best for last or what I think the best one is. I have Bo Horvat. I have Tyler Sagan. I have Max Pacoretti. Brent Burns. And as you guys know, this is part of my a collection of his that I have started, Connor McDavid. So maybe I will share just his collection in the future. I don't have too much. I'm sharing pretty much three of the five things I have in it. But uh, if you guys comment down below or if you guys are interested in seeing that small collection of Connor McDavid's that I have, uh, let me know and I will, I will share it with you guys. So now I'm getting into the gold stat makers cards. So I have Mark Schofle. I'd probably butcher that name. I do apologize. I'm trying to make these quick and efficient. I have Vladimir Tarasenko. Sidney Crosby, his gold stat maker, which I do enjoy that one. And then also in the Connor McDavid collection, Connor McDavid gold stat. But my favorite my top card the most expensive card a lot of people whenever i made the video saying it's a 60 dollars value a lot of people said no try 30 maybe 40 dollars values um but what i found is that it is worth 60 dollars. i didn't get mine appraised but what they're averagely going at is 60 dollars. some more some less but it is the triple exposure connor mcdavid card Let's see if i can get it to uh there you go. So I still consider this a $60 value. I don't care if it's 
$10 value or $60 value. It's in my Connor McDavid collection. That is the purpose. So I just wanted to basically recap the 2017-2018 uh, hockey cards, uh, Tim Hortons hockey cards that I've um, acquired this year. And I am hoping next year cards, I hope I get uh, some of them. I can't wait to start opening that. As I come to the end of my hockey card, uh, the end of the NHL season, that's probably going to be when I stop doing hockey card videos for you guys. I stop sharing that. Um, but around that time, I'll probably be making a video kind of like this, sharing the best of what I got the past season. So look forward to that. And then, of course, uh, when the time comes, I will be back when Tim Hortons comes back. So that's whenever I start collecting again. Um, unless I can get a really good deal straight from Upper Deck. As you guys know, that's where I got two blasters recently. Um, so they're actually cheap. Shipping, shipped in two days. Honestly, a great experience. Loved it. But that's all I have for this video. Just wanted to share the top of my Tim Hortons cards I got this year. Since I know I'm not getting any anywhere else. And I'm not paying an arm and a leg for a card. I'm not play, paying an arm and a leg for packs. A lot of people are selling these packs. The packs have three cards in them. For like seven or eight bucks you can get them on ebay and that and to me it's like nah, that's not worth it i'll get them for a dollar two or two dollars um depending on if i get hot chocolate or whatever uh whenever uh they come back so i will see you guys in the next video just sharing a lot of my collections with you guys and i'm enjoying doing it anyways take care peace